So today we're doing the Neutralize and Brown Lips tutorial. Um, we're going to start with um, the Morphe palette and I'm going to be doing those two colors, kind of mixing them together to create my first transition color. And I'm going to need to get used to speaking even if it's over a microphone because I am not used to it. But yes, we're using a Morphe brush and we're going to just be slowly building up this color. Um, we're going to switch to a deeper, um, well, darker transition color to create a little bit of more depth. It's a lot of blending, so I cut a lot of it out. So here we're just still um, blending out. I will list the brushes down below. I'm not sure which one this is. I believe it's a Sigma, but I'm not 100% sure. And then we're gonna get another color from the Morphe um, 35O palette that's a little bit darker to create um, further depth in the eyes. And here I'm using another, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is another Sigma brush. Um, and I'm keeping this very very close to the crease and trying not to blend it up too much but blend it down if that makes sense just blending my little heart away <laughs> and here I'm going with the brush that I used before to just make sure it's blended together and there's no harsh lines and I like to do this because um, it makes the color pop a little bit more and, and it's kind of like a cut crease but not really it's just to emphasize the color um, I mean the lid a little bit more and this is a makeup geek eyeshadow and it is in the spot in the spotlight and I did wet my brush with um, max fix plus before applying it to my eyes and here I'm using the brush to kind of blend everything together make sure it doesn't look um, too harsh and this one is Mirage also from Makeup Geek and this is going to go underneath my brows it's a brow highlight and it's a very very pretty subtle color here I am doing my liner that I decided to include the clips and it actually did not come out too bad because I need to kind of set the mirror on a table so I could do it um, right otherwise it comes out looking all sorts of crazy but this brush you guys oh my god it is from Zoeva I will have it down below but I freaking love it it makes the lines look so crisp and it's freaking awesome. And this is um, a brush set that I got on eBay. And I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer, which I actually really like. I recently purchased it, so. This is a glow kit from Anastasia, um, and I use Stumpers and Bubbly, and just look at that, I freaking love it. And I like to um, use the MAC Mineralized in Deep, no this is Give Me Sun, um, to just kind of blend it together so you can't really see, you know, the contour from the hula and the highlight kind of separated. And I also like to blend it together with um, the blush. And this is Becca Songbird with the Duo Fiber Brush. And right here I'm just, you know, doing a highlight. And I just use the first transition colors um, from before underneath my eyes. I didn't do too much down there. And these are Iconic from House of Lashes. And Dose of Colors, the star of the show, and Chocolate Wasted. And I am obsessed with this color oh my god I've worn it so many times since I got in it and that's it you guys I hope you enjoy and I will see you guys next time